Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of this series where I try your build you submit in the comments. Since last video did so well, I was really excited to make another one after its first installment. There were some good submissions I had to look through. However, I only get to choose one for each video. But don't worry, if I miss your submission, there's a chance that your submission will be showcased in the next episode. In this video, I'm showcasing a gyre build submitted by Shadow of Manda. Now, it's a long comment, so I'm only gonna emphasize on the important things. Gyre's build submitted by Shadow of Manda, built with Energy Siphon, Prime Surefooted, Blind Rage, Arc and Stretch, Prime Flow, Umbro Intensify, Overextended, Arc Reach, Cathode Current, and Viral Tempest. Subsuming Tempest Barrage on Gyre's second ability, Molt Reconstruct, and Molt Augmented as Arcanes. Two Tile Red Shards, one Tile Purple Shard, and Shade Prime with Ghost Precept. Thank you, Amanda, for letting me showcase their build. And now let's go ahead to the arsenal. So here we have it. Energy Siphon, Blind Rage, Umbral Intensify, Prime Flow, Viral Tempest, Overextended, Arc and Stretch, Augur Reach, Cathode Current, Tempest Barrage Subsume, and of course, Molt Reconstruct and Molt Augmented. Here we have two red shards for duration, one purple shard for mini equilibrium. As for the filler, I went with one yellow shard for a casting speed. You can use any weapon for this setup, but I went with Strun Prime and Karnon, Grimoire, with Sata Invocation for energy regen. Kratos as a mobility stick and Cineric or Wellspring ability, but you can substitute this for other folk school. And of course, Shade Prime Companion with Ghost Precept. But also, after some testing, I discovered that if you have Assault Mod on, the Ghost Mod would stop working. Even though in the description it said that if owner attacks, the cloak would be disrupted. This is probably a bug. But if you want to use this mod, you're gonna have to remove the assault mode, which means that your sentinel can't attack anymore. However, you can still use any sentinel weapon, so I went with Burst Laser Prime with Tenacious Bond for a little boost of 1.2 crit multiplier. And of course, I'll be testing it on Steel Path Conjunction Survival, the highest base enemy level on Star Chart. As a premise to this build, the way you play is you first cast your 3rd and 4th ability, then cast your 1 onto groups. After that, you spam your 2nd ability, which was subsumed to Tempest Barrage. It's a pretty interesting concept. You basically rely on your abilities to do the killing, all while your companion giving you the invisibility, which its sole purpose is to make you alive, besides shield gating. I was able to get around 100 to 120 kills per minute on average, which was not that bad. However, the problem comes when you don't have energy, because this build is very energy hungry, and it's enemy scaling. First and foremost, I would advise replacing Molt Reconstruct with Energize to keep the ability uptime. Or as a budget to Energize, you can use Arcane Steadfast, which allows you to spam 3 abilities with no cost after it procs. Or you can use both, that works too. As for the enemy scaling, it's hard to justify using this in higher enemy level, and without any form of armor stripping, it wouldn't scale very well past enemy level 400. As for a casual type missions that's below level 200, I can see this being viable where it shines the most on high enemy density. It's definitely pretty fun, and it's also great for speedrunning features as well if you dislike using Titania or Gauss and want to try something different. This build reminds me of what Vault's Shocking Speed Augment could have been. Perhaps one day this will eventually be good. I also forgot to mention that not having Sentinel attacking enemies means that you can't utilize Synthic Construct, and if you know, that health orb can be transferred to energy if you have equilibrium or one as a shard, which would help with energy sustainability. So now I'm gonna be giving this build an honest rating of 1 to 10. And this build is about 6.5 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, it's a solid build. It has some potential, but there's a few flaws holding me back from being very good. I had fun with it though. And so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.